Jed here to provide a quick overview of how to use and participate in meetings with the GoToMobile app. Using the app allows you to be involved with meetings anywhere using your smartphone. I'll use an Android phone for this video, but iPhone users' steps are the same. I've already signed in as user Ryan Noble. Take note of the bottom navigation menu. You may see different icons here depending on what options are available with your go-to plan. Tap the meetings icon. When it comes to meetings, you are either invited to them or are the host of them. If you have synced your calendar with GoTo, your upcoming meetings will appear here. Tap the Rooms tab. Rooms are reusable meeting locations that do not expire. Tap the plus icon. I can now start my meeting, join a session if I know the session ID number or name, or create a meeting. For this video, I will join from Ryan's personal room. I now have buttons to join a session, join from a go-to room, or invite others to the meetings. Here are the details, like the session ID, if I want to share it with someone so that they can join the session. You can also see the meeting invitees. Currently, that says none, but others will join momentarily. I'll tap Join Session. From here, I can choose to edit my screen name if desired. I can then decide if I want to enable my microphone and camera. You can change the status of your devices later if needed. When applicable, click OK I'm ready. Even though I'm still the only one in attendance, I've successfully started a session. You can enable or disable your microphone or camera here. Tap the commuter mode icon at the top of the screen. It looks like a car icon. Commuter mode is ideal for when you are traveling. Only the audio option will be used during that time, which saves your battery power. You can then enable or disable your microphone by tapping the button in the center. Two other people have joined the session. Now that they have joined, tap the participants icon. You will see different options on this screen depending on whether you are the organizer or an attendee. For example, only meeting organizers can lock or unlock a meeting which can be done from the screen. Everyone in the session will have the option to see who is in the meeting from this screen as well as the status of their respective cameras and microphones. Tap the more icon next to the organizer's name, which looks like three dots stacked on top of each other. The options here are self-explanatory. In the case of raise hand, when clicked, the organizer will receive notification that you have something to say. If I were only an attendee and had clicked the more icon, I would only see options to enable or disable my camera and microphone, as well as to be able to raise my hand. Tap the more icon next to one of the attendees. What you see now are an organizer's options when clicking on an attendee's more option. For example, they could mute someone or send them a direct message if needed. Hopefully it is never required, but the organizer even has the option to remove someone from a session. If I were to tap the invite option, the meeting ID would be copied and a list of my apps would be brought up so that I could easily send that information to another person. Tap the chat icon. Here's where you can send messages during a meeting. If more than two people are in the meeting, you will have more options when tapping the up and down arrows here. I can select if I want to send a message to everyone, only the organizers, or a specific participant. Click the More button at the bottom of the screen. 
This is another portion where you will see different options depending on if you are the organizer or an attendee. Here is the meeting name and ID number. Clicking share will allow you to share your screen with those in the meeting. Organizers have the option to record the meeting. They can also pause the recording and resume if needed. Pausing and resuming will not separate the recording into multiple files. Here is another location where you can use the hand raising feature. Everyone in the meeting can select emoji reactions at any time. Tap webcam view. You can choose your desired layout for how and what to see during the meeting. Tap session settings. Once again, you will have different options here depending on if you are the organizer or an attendee. Organizers can elect if they want to enable options like chatting. From the audio source section, there are self-explanatory options for connecting to the meeting. If you have more than one audio device associated with your phone, you can choose the desired one here by tapping the Select Output option. Let's end the meeting by tapping this button. As the organizer, you can end this session for everyone. If you want the meeting to continue, however, you can promote an attendee to become an organizer and then the session will continue for everyone still in attendance. That's all there is to be able to attend a meeting with the GoToMobile app.